Okay, so welcome back to Focus TV. Today we're going to find out whether one of these will charge one of these. If you look around on the internet, you'll find lots of references to lemon batteries, so we thought we'd, we thought we'd have a go ourselves. So first, you cut a slit in the lemon, put in the copper coin, prod in the zinc nail, and hopefully that should already give us a few volts. Let's see. So look, we're getting nearly one volt, just from one lemon. Okay, so what's happening? Well, in this little lemon is acting just like a normal battery. The citric acid inside the lemon, and that's slowly breaking down the zinc inside this nail producing negatively charged electrons and positively charged zinc ions. Now those electrons are attracted towards this copper because inside it there are positively charged ions there. So you've got negative moving towards the positive. Just the same as a battery, movement of electrons creating an electrical current. Right, so if we are only getting a volt out of this, we need probably about five volts to be able to recharge this. So we need to rake things up a little bit. But there's something I've prepared earlier. Prepare yourself for this. Ta-ta! Okay, so just um, carrying out a few minor repairs here. Um, essentially, it's the same principle, but we've kind of ranked things up a little bit. So here we've got um, lots of lemons. It's fine when they're cut into quarters. All you, all you need is the same sort of principle. Um, you need your cathode, which is the, the nail, and the, the anode, which is the, um, the coin. Um, and we've linked several of them by wire using these crocodile clips um, and hopefully we'll find out whether we get a little bit more voltage from that. Um, let's hope it's enough to power the, the phone as well. Okay, so we're only getting about two volts which clearly isn't enough really to, to charge the phone. Um, maybe we'll just give it a try anyway after we've gone to all this trouble. So I'm putting in the USB link, it's um, charged by USB this phone. Um, I'll attach this to the cathode, this to the anode, let's see, nothing, not a thing, not a thing. Okay, so that was our rather feeble attempt, maybe you could do a little bit better. Um, why not post a response on YouTube and let us know how it's really done.